Alright guys, welcome back. And we're looking at the demographic screen again uh, for the Ottomans. And our approval rating's gone up a bit. Uh, we're at, what, 99% and somehow in 6th place. Uh, apparently, 100% is the way to go. And we aren't it, so 6th <laughs> place. Uh, for 99%, whatever. Uh, everything else, we're still number one. Um, and th the best part is, we haven't really even been in any wars yet. Um, we got pretty lucky being on this North America all by ourselves, with the exception of these three city states, which, I mean, two of them are close allies. This one's an extremely close ally. And, uh, you know, Wittenberg's a pretty decent ally as well. Um, I think we need to work on Cape Town, but let's see, what do they want? They want you to complete a land or sea trade route to their city. They want you to generate a great admiral. Well, we're not going to be doing that, but we could probably get the trade route. Um, so next time one of our caravans or something comes off cooldown, we'll probably go to Cape Town, try to build up our relationship with them. So, we'll hit next turn. Of course, the unit needs orders. It's just these guys up here. Um, let's have them fall back to within our territory. And... So, a lot of players are f just now entering the medieval era, which we've been in that for uh, quite a bit now, honestly, so... I think we're pretty far out in front, which it's in general because we're playing at a lower difficulty, but that's okay. Uh, this this playthrough, this Let's Play, was more to show game concepts and not really, you know, how to play at an extremely hard difficulty. Like I said before, we could do that. Um, Maybe what I'll do is when we finish up this Let's Play, uh, I'll kind of open the stage to see... Uh, if there's a specific civilization that people want me to play as, uh, and, you know, what difficulty. I, I'm not going to play on Deity. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, but I'm willing to, to try some of the harder difficulties. Um, like I said, my comfort level is right around uh, Prince. But I would be willing to try some other um, difficulties. Let's see, what is this? Combat Strength and Melee Attacks Against Naval Units. Uh, combat strength when attacking cities, steel gold equal to 33%. Wow, that's extremely interesting. Uh, or heal instantly. I th think we're going to go with boarding party, because we're going to use these ships to kind of try to build a navy. So, uh, you guys can fall back into our borders. Um... Go there. You keep going this way. You also keep going that way. There's no reason for you to stay there. So we'll move you over this way. And not yet. Let's let's move these guys first. There and you can move there. Oop, you needs orders. It's this ship over here. So now we've, we've definitely got a pretty decent sized navy. Oh, that's interesting. They adopted a religion. I thought they did that last turn. Am I thinking of a different city? I am. That was the one that we had our missionary use. So good. Um, I guess just alert for now. Go ahead and finally build that city. And that pretty much should take care of any barbarian problems that we were having uh, by having that city there, so. Um, get a monument. And we're going to need some villagers to come down, or... 
workers, not villagers, but I think the automated villagers will you can just keep calling them villagers, whatever. You get the point, workers. Um, I think they'll go ahead and take care of that for us. Missionary has been purchased in Istanbul. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, we'll use that missionary. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and change this from missionaries to cathedrals. Uh, choose production. They finished the mint here. Let's go ahead and do the Colosseum. Uh, just based on the fact that we know we're going to need uh, that extra happiness coming up. Uh, they finished a monument here. Uh, I'm thinking granary to get the plus two food that would be very nice. So let's let's work on that. Uh, you guys can go ahead and alert as well. Um, for now, you're gonna just wait since we still have settlers going through here. Okay, these workers finally completed that road um, up to that city. Let's keep this road going, though. Uh, and I want to use it to connect to these cities. Another way to do that would be, of course, to build harbors um, to connect back to the capital, but uh, we might as well build a road. Why not? Okay. Let's go ahead and keep these guys headed back to base to kind of the only bad part about ships is they can only heal in your territory. So, I guess that's not too terrible considering how fast they can move. But, yeah. When they get damaged, especially like this one, um, you've got to have them fall all the way back. So, I'm surprised that it's not citing that as a good city location, but I'm going to do it anyways. So, there's one city there. Change production. We definitely want a monument here to start growing these resources out. Um, but we also want workers up here. 18 turns for worker, though. I don't think so. Um, I'd be more apt to just purchase a worker if it came down to it, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and keep moving this way. Okay, so this unit... Let's have him keep moving this way. Uh, and decide where we're going to put him. It's saying that this is a good place to put him. Uh, I'm not totally sold on that. But then again, I mean, he would have a lot of access to water tiles and food. And he'd also eventually get this iron. But then we'd have to put the other unit on this citrus. And I don't know if that actually gives them the citrus, building the city on top of it or not, but I guess we're going to find out. So, you can move to there. You, um, I guess move to there for now. And you can alert. Okay. And we'll have that missionary next turn. I wish you could just automate the mi missionaries to spread religion, but I guess that wouldn't make too much sense. And you can see our happiness is starting to fall. That's the direct result of uh, building that new city. So when we build those other two, it's probably going to get uh, a little bit awkward over here. We're going to lose a lot more. Uh, so they finished the forge. I think Colosseum's a, a good bet. Uh, yeah, they're not really making enough gold to warrant a market. Uh, so let's go Colosseum. Unit needs orders. It's those guys. Well, honestly... I mean, we could probably... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave these guys up here and just in case for some reason we get attacked we'll have some archery units up here to defend us uh, you guys can build a road I'm gonna actually have you do a route um, route to that square right there go ahead and skip that guy's turn just keep moving these boats up um, yeah right there and keep moving these boats down okay so this guy finally finished that portion of road he was working on and I'm trying to get him to connect to here um, but I think he's gonna be pretty stubborn about it so I'm just gonna do it manually from here on out let's move this guy um, to right there Oop. he can't apparently um, have them go heal here. There's only two tiles here that they can heal in, and there's four ships, so not everyone can go to there. Okay, so we have our missionary here. Let's spread religion. Let's go to Cape Town, honestly. That, that wouldn't be a bad decision. Um... I'm trying to get them to become sympathetic to my cause, and I think that by having the same religion as me, they will uh, be more apt to support me if, uh, you know, things were to hit the fan. Wittenberg seeks investors. Each gold... Oh, I was reading that. Uh, let's see. Each gold gift to them during this time will be more effective, rewarding 50% more influence. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. They are our allies, but we're starting to slip. Uh, we're receiving eight faith from being their allies and they're granting us iron, silver, and marble so we definitely don't want to lose them we have 30 influence for 250 I'd rather have 60 influence with them for 500 to be honest so let's let's wait on that but we'll have to remember that we have to do that when we get 500 gold which I'm sure I will forget, but, uh, whatever, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, let's get a temple. Just because temples give a lot of extra bonuses to us. Um, hmm. Okay, so now these guys have that silver, so we definitely want to get that improved. Uh, we will build the city. Choose production monument. Unit needs orders. You can just alert, to be honest. Unit needs orders. Um, I want to find someplace decent for them to alert, so we'll go here. And this ship can. You know what? This is actually. Since we have this trade route going here, can we set this guy to alert? We can. So, leave him there. This settler needs to go to down there. So you can see our happiness is really dropping now. Um, because we're building those extra cities. But hopefully we'll be able to make up for that with the uh, resources that we gain from them. And we'll go you right there. You two right there. And 
next turn. City connection established. Okay, so good. They finally finished the connection to there. We've got a new barbarian camp, which is okay because we've got tons of troops in the area. Um, I'm going to take these guys up there. And honestly, they should be able to handle it. So we'll just let them do their thing. We could move those guys in as well, but or even those guys. I don't think we're going to need them, to be honest. Um, let's see. So they completed a circus. That's good. Um, hmm. Let's do a temple. I mean, religion definitely seems to be paying off in this playthrough, so we'll do a temple and see what it gets us. Uh, adopt a policy. Let's see. Cities with a major majority religion also get the Pantheon belief of the second most popular religion. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with this. Now that we're actually getting some religion or some faith, it would be nice to be able to get things for a cheaper rate. So Um you guys can go ahead and alert. Uh, you don't need some orders. Heal. I'm gonna go ahead and automate you. Actually, I'm gonna have you do the copper first, and then we'll automate you. Uh, you go like this. Build a road. We're getting pretty close to being done with that guy. Go ahead and fortify until healed. Same thing with this guy. Uh, go ahead and jump to this guy. Uh, yeah, we cannot apparently spread religion here for some reason. But we can right there. So they're Catholic now. Um, I'd actually like to get this guy down here so that we can start spreading religion into this guy's territory. So, let's head that way. Uh, we need to fortify him. There we go. Now everyone is healing. Sure, we'll do spices for... I, I would enjoy that deal. That would be awesome. Okay. Another barbarian encampment. Uh oh. Why was... Oh. Our civilian was up there building a road. And a bunch of places love the king because we got all those spices. <laughs> and we got some more religion. We got more citizens. Cathedral's been purchased in Istanbul. That is good. Um, let's see. Cape Town have become uneasy by a barbarian encampment nearby. Great. Um, so, missionary's not going to be able to do much about that, but these guys can, so then maybe we can get Cape Town to become our allies. Uh, got the temple there. Hmm. There's a lot of things that would come in handy in this city. I think... A lighthouse would not be bad because we'd get an extra bit of food there. I think we're going to do that. Okay, 
construct a mine to connect the silver. Construct a mine to connect the copper. And uh, I think they'll actually lose. Um, yeah, it's still a minor victory for them. I thought that maybe they would lose some of their uh, bonuses thanks to the being in a force, but apparently not. So, and I want my worker back, so not like those guys can outrun us. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that we wanted. Was one of our guys working on that? Istanbul is... no, they're working on a great mosque, but oh well. It looks like we're not getting that double bonus that we talked about. Our city becomes religious. Well, good. good. Oh, fantastic. That would be great, because then we would become allies with them, so... Charge in, kill some barbarians. Good. Okay. And we got our worker back. Which is good. Uh, and let's get this road going. You can fortify. Another barbarian encampment discovered. Um, but that's okay, he can't really do anything to us from where he is. You build the city there. That's actually a really good city tile, so I'm not going to complain. Plus, there's fish over there, and we knew about these whales. I didn't know about those fish, so... Eh, another monument. And we've got enough gold to build a worker, so we're going to do that. You missionary, just wait. Looks like their pikemen are actually going to finish off this for us, which isn't great because I wanted the bonus. But. Yeah, they, they took care of it for us. Well. I guess you can't get them every time. So we have the biggest military. Um, John Henry said and that should definitely help with steel there. Um, really? You're going to make my missionary walk around? It's kind of not cool, dude. Alright, well, you can fall back. There's no reason for you to be there. Uh, let's look at the tech tree. I think it's time to get guilds, to be honest. Um, some of these other things would be nice, like compass for the harbors and the uh, galleys. But uh, I think trading posts would be nice. The ability to switch to wealth, if we had to, would be very nice. So let's get guilds. Um, okay, so we got our worker back. We need them to produce that road. Okay, so we've got this unit at full health. Let's... Um, do we want to just set them to explore? Yeah, go ahead and explore. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that... <laughs> He'll go off explore if um, if we run into trouble. That's that's my only concern there. Is if, if something was to happen, he's not going to be stupid about it, which he might be, but it's not a big deal. Um, 
and we'll set. Ooh. Okay, so galleys upgrade to trireme. That's interesting. So they were actually weaker. Um, yeah, let's upgrade you. And we'll have to look at one of these galleys and see. So the trireme is 10 strength and 5 movement. Let's see what the galleys are. Yeah, of course they don't because they eliminated them themselves. Oh, four movement and only seven strength, so those are better. Um, finished a temple. Let's do. Hmm. Workshop would be nice. I think I'm going to do a writer's guild just to get it out of here. Doesn't seem, like I said, it might be just a per civilization wonder, but um, now that we have that, let's go ahead and automate you. You need to build a road, so go ahead and do that. Hmm. And we'll have you build a farm, kind of get these resources hooked up. Uh, that's going to be important because I don't think we have citrus anywhere else. Maybe we do. Um, I don't think we do. So that's actually a pretty important resource. Uh, go ahead and upgrade you. Where? What city is that? Kessera. Not that one. And not any of those. Hmm. I have no idea what city we just hooked up. It's not. No, it's not that one either. Okay, uh, whatever. Uh, we can upgrade some of our swordsmen, which I think think is probably a good idea. So maybe we'll move them back into our uh, territory to do that. Good. We got that great mosque. That's awesome. Provides a free mosque in the city which it's built. Uh, also all missionaries born in that city can spread religion three times instead of just two. So that's a pretty good uh, bonus there. Uh, no reachable areas to explore at the moment. Really? Okay, well, we'll just manually send you down there, though, because I know there's stuff that we can uh, do. Finish the Great Mosque. Must be built in a holy city. Three free missionaries appear. So I guess... Um, we do want this, and that um, thing that was built actually was not what we were worried about, so that's okay. What is this? Plus one food, plus one production for all desert tiles worked by the city, except for food plains. Um, gains an additional trade route slot and a caravan of players in the city plus six culture once archaeology is discovered. The city must be built on or next to a desert. Well, that actually would be fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that. Um, yeah, and now that we've got that, uh, let's automate you. I th Hopefully someone gets over here and hooks that up. But, uh, go ahead and automate you. You can go ahead and fortify here. Uh, and we said we were going to upgrade our swordsmen. So let's do it this way. Uh, if we go to unit list, we can see our swordsman. Uh, he is on alert. And he is on alert. So if we double click 
should be able to move them back into our territory. And you are pretty close to our territory already, so go ahead and go in there. Um, yeah, and then we can switch this back to the research tab. And let's see what else. You can fire on an enemy. I wish we had a boat over here to steal that. Um, did they finish hooking that up? It looks like they kind of did. Well, work on that silver then. Um, and this should be the last tile here. That should connect that road, so... Yeah, you're going to stay there and guard them so that that whole situation that just happened doesn't happen again where we lose our worker. Um, and you're still a galley, so upgrade you. Very nice. Okay, so that's going to be it for this... Uh, for this episode anyways guys and uh, I think we're doing good we're, we've got some major expansion going on here we've got pretty much all of North America covered um, so now it's just gonna be a matter of kind of solidifying this and uh, I think we need more workers to be honest uh, we definitely need some workers up here uh, but I don't have enough gold to get another worker it's 310 gold so we're getting pretty close. We can almost get a second. Um, but then we can hook up the citrus. Uh, we can hook up the iron here once these borders expand. And we can get some roads going in between these cities. And then going back to the capital. Because that's what we really need. So, alright guys. That's it for this uh, episode. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.